going to have another adventure today with the pressure cooker. Let's say you get home, there's no time, you don't have anything laid out. So in our pressure cooker, we've got four pieces of frozen chicken. We will add water to it, about a cup, put the lid on, and we'll let it pressure for Thirty minutes. All right, we're back. We're gonna do a real quick pressure release here to check the chicken. I didn't mention before, but what the chicken was that we put in here was four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Okay, and if they're not completely done, what you want to do is maybe put it under pressure for another ten minutes and fill up enough just to cover the chicken breast. We are almost completely out of pressure. There it was. All right, let's take a quick look in here. And they look pretty done. And what you'll do is you just take and shred this chicken. Okay. Once we get it all good and shredded, what we'll do is we'll put a 16 ounce box of pasta in there. We're gonna use penne today. Two cans of cream of chicken. Okay. And our second can of cream of chicken. We've got four cups of cheese we'll add. Shredded cheese, that is. And you can use sharp or mild, whatever your preference is. And enough water to bring it up to the halfway line or enough to cover where the pasta was which is right about there. And what we'll do is we will bring it back up to pressure for about eight minutes and we'll be back in a minute to check on it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick release here on the pressure. While the pressure releases, I didn't mention, but this is my version of the quick, easy, one-pot chicken tetrazzini in the pressure cooker. And like when we did the spaghetti in here the other day, it's going to look like it may be a little soupy or a little liquidy. But once we stir it up, the consistency is going to be the way that we need it. So, all right, there we go. Pressure valve just released. If you look in here, Derek, it looks a little liquidy, but we get in here and we give it a good stir from the bottom, let everything mix together the way it's supposed to. It all winds up kind of melding together, making a great consistency. Make sure to get the chicken incorporated through the whole thing. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells pretty amazing. And it's going to taste even better. All right. Go ahead and spoon a little bit of this up here.
I'm gonna hand it over to my cameraman, Derek. And he'll tell us if he enjoys it or not. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and in the comment section, you can leave me a comment. Remember to like and subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys in the next adventure.